Hello and welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of some of the top technology headlines from across the globe. In this episode, we bring you the latest from Instagram, Tesla and Intel. For this month's Hot Topics interview, we spoke to EY's Praveen Shankar about further education and how entrepreneurs in the TMT space can enhance their skill sets. First though, here are your top international stories. Instagram founder Kevin Systrom said this week that the Facebook-owned photo sharing platform had officially reached a billion users. The platform, which started off as a photo sharing app, evolved into minute-long videos and then the creation of Instagram stories, has also made headlines after announcing the launch of a new feature. IGTV, as the new feature is called, will allow users to create content that's up to an hour long. The news comes after suggestions that Instagram is the worst social media platform in relation to young people's mental health, something which Systrom said the company is working hard to resolve. Elon Musk's Tesla has filed a lawsuit accusing a disgruntled ex-employee of hacking into the technology company's systems and leaking confidential information to third parties. As a result, Tesla claims it has suffered significant and continuing damages. The lawsuit was filed in the state of Nevada. In other news, chip-making giant Intel has announced that its chief executive, Brian Karsnick, is stepping down with immediate effect. Karsnick, who held the post since May 2013, is leaving due to a violation of Intel's non-fraternization policy. The company said an inquiry had revealed that the former chief exec had had a consensual relationship with an Intel employee, which is in fact against company rules. Robert Swan, currently the company's chief financial officer, will take over as CEO. That's all for this episode, but keep watching to see this month's Hot Topics interview. We spoke with EY's Praveen Shankar about further education and how entrepreneurs in the TMT space can enhance their skill sets. Hi Praveen, thank you very much for joining us today. Can you provide us with an outline of the recently launched EY Henley Flexible Executive MBA for telecommunications? Sure, we're really excited about this. This course is enabled by the strategic partnership between EY and Henley Business School and it brings the best of both the organizations together. The world-renowned academic expertise of Henley Business School and the deep industry expertise of EY's telecom practitioners to create an innovative program that is really relevant for the industry. This is a 30 months program and it will be partially funded by the UK's apprenticeship levy. It is aimed towards the managers and senior managers who are ready to move to the senior leadership roles. It is set to start in the beginning of next year. So what are the benefits for individuals and companies? For the individuals, this, is, this will be a big catalyst to enhance their career through the learning of the full breadth of the MBA and the depth of the telecom industry. Secondly, it will help them build network mm -hmm. because they, they can build network with their peers who will be the, who will be the participants and from the industry leaders who will be the speakers in the course. Plus, they can tap into the overall alumni network of the Henley Business School. How will the MBA shape the telecom industry as a whole? Telecom industry is rapidly changing. And in fact, every six months, whenever I look at the telecom industry, it has completely changed. Mm -hmm. It is a highly regulated industry. The customers and the demands are changing rapidly. And it is massively disrupted by digital. What the industry needs right now is more specialist skills. It needs more people who understand the entire industry landscape. It also needs a platform to, for the companies to collaborate outside of the typical work, work environment, and this MBA is going to provide that. Why do you believe it's so important for individuals to continually develop their skills and knowledge? As I stated, Telecom industry is changing. And like telecom industry, most of the industries are changing. Digital is everywhere. Status quo is not an option for any company or any individuals. And, and hence, this is a necessity for everyone to continue to develop themselves. Apart from that, this continuous learning and development is exciting. It's inspiring. It challenges the mind to think more broadly, for think of different ways to find solutions and create a better working world. Great, well thank you very much for your time. Thank you. That's all for this episode. For more top technology headlines, head over to www.uktech.news.